This is Alex. Alex is a designer. It may not look like it, but Alex doesn't hang around with his skateboard thinking up logos for new brands of craft beer. Alex is a product designer. A what you ask? Well, maybe we should start at the beginning. It's easy to forget just how large and diverse the design disciplines are. Design ranges from communication design to architecture, urban planning, fashion and product design, systems and service design to heavy industrial machinery and, well, just about everything we use and see around us. Sometimes great design is so good, it's invisible. In 1931, Harry Beck realized the London tube map was very difficult to understand. By ignoring the actual distances and thinking of what would make it easier for the end user, Harry Beck became a hero to millions of urban commuters. More visible communication design has helped build some iconic brands that has made a significant difference to bottom lines. But design can do a lot more too. Clever design can turn great ideas into amazing products. Innovative design thinking can totally transform a business or an industry and change our lives. And many have saved lives. You see, great design can often solve problems we didn't even know existed. Is there such a thing as bad design? Usually, it's not so hard to spot. But sometimes it's less obvious and more sinister. South African towns and cities were historically designed to keep people segregated, socially and economically. They were so well planned that the problem still persists. As do lots of buildings that failed in the user-friendly and aesthetics departments. But sometimes that's just a matter of perspective. Of course, South Africa also has trailblazers of great design. The classic Coca-Cola ribbon logo was designed here. South Africans also designed the Dolos, Prattly Putty, Mixit, Nando's, the Creepy Crawly, CT Scanners, the Ubuntu operating system and one of the most liberal constitutions on earth. More recently, South African designers have been turning their attention towards finding local solutions that make our world better. Like good-looking furniture that works in small spaces. Cost-effective, attractive and functional houses that can be adapted by their users. Public spaces that benefit the community. And safe, reliable transport systems that get people moving. So, designers all around us. And it can be a game-changer too. But are we doing enough with our design skills and expertise to transform our economic and social bottom line? Isn't it time you invited Alex and his friends to spend some time in your business?